Gemini, welcome to your May general reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Gemini, we are going to take a look at the energies around you at this time. So anything could come up. We're just going to take it as it comes. Could be love, could be work, career, finance, whatever the messages are most needed for the collective. Um, that's what will come out. So it may or may not resonate with every single person out there. Please keep that in mind. Take it as it resonates for you. If it does at all, throw away the rest. And this can be past, present, or future. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and it's for male or female. So we'll see what we have for you. Gemini, if it's not making sense for you, if it's not fitting for you, it's not your story. So please don't try to make it fit into your situation. If it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you. I'll hold out for the next reading, or you could check the description box below for the links for your past uh, playlist. Maybe something there will resonate. I consider them all timeless, so feel free to check that out. So Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. If you would like a private reading, that information is below. Tons of information down there, so please do go check that out. And uh, those who are new, if you care to check out my channel and you like my style, how I read, um, and you wish to subscribe and all that great stuff, feel free, hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about four or five readings a month. And if you do, thank you so much. Okay, so Gemini, let's see what we have for you. This is a, uh, a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element or planet, and we'll see how this affects your reading. And then with this deck here, we will get an opening message, and then we will get uh, an energy for you. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot, whatever comes out. Look at the actual situation, advice, possible outcome. I go over the bottoms of the decks, and then we'll get extra messages with this oracle here. So let's see what we have for Gemini at this time. So Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female for the collective watching. Spirit, please. Can we get a sign, element, or planet? That's too many. Just one for Gemini. If you don't uh, resonate with whatever comes out here, that is totally fine. I'm going to take this one right here. Sort of like a uh, little extra bonus. So, all right. So we have Cancer. So you could be dealing with a Cancer. Someone rising Venus, Jupiter. You could have Cancer in your chart. Um, if not, the Cancer uh, does represent the chariot in the tarot, the major arcana, which is about positive movement forward. It's about having drive, ambition, and moving forward to success and victory and being very balanced. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. And sometimes it can also, for me as a reader, uh, it does represent the moon to me also. So that can be about secrets, illusions, not seeing the path clearly, uh, fear, deep emotional feelings. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. And we do have Gemini, you're three, Cancer is four, so we've got three, four. So we have some sort of progression here. A four is about stability. So let's see what's going on for Gemini. Gemini, so we'll get an opening message for you. Let's get an opening message for Gemini, for the collective, someone rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female, watching. What is the opening message for Gemini? I'm not feeling that one already. So we have the B, and this is 32. 32 is five, and that's about challenge and change. But the B is all about uh, working together. It's community. It's... Um, it can be like business oriented too, uh, you know, working together or collaborating um, together. So let's see, industry, cooperation, working collectively. So see how that plays into your reading. And that is air energy and you are an air sign. All right, so let's get, or this is telling you maybe you need to be in more in that energy of, you know, teamwork, collaboration, working together, um, team effort in some way, shape or form working as a collective. All right, so, wow, okay. Let's get an opening energy for you. Okay, here we go. Gemini, we have Raven, and this is 31, which is a four, and that is about stability again, but this Raven is sort of like, if you see he's wearing a mask, and you have duality there with the sun and the moon, which is like two different energies, and he is carrying a message of some kind. But this raven is sort of like a dark energy. So this can be about um, deception in some way. 
using darkness to empower yourself, watchfulness, trickster behavior. So this could be someone around you. It could be someone in your community, somebody you work with. Um, it's because, you know, be there is about uh, cooperation, teamwork, you know, working together, industry. So it could be someone around you that you work with that does not have good intentions. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. And we do have, whoops, upside down. <laughs> Don't take reversals with oracles. So we do have here crab. This is water energy. And we do have here 18. Yes, I believe that's 18, which is nine. That equals to nine. And nine is about coming to a completion. And I do believe the, the crab does represent cancer. So that is just crazy. So you could definitely have a cancer in your life in some way, shape, or form. So let's see what the crab has to say. Uh, number 18. Feeling vulnerable, seeking hidden value, caution, indirectness. So it does say caution, and this could be a trickster in your work environment. So be cautious of that. That's the, um, someone may see you as vulnerable or you may feel vulnerable uh, around somebody. And also indirectness. So, you know, somebody here may be doing something indirectly, you know, trying to do something without you really uh, noticing or uh, seeing what they're doing. So, hmm, okay. So let's see what's going on for you. What's going on for you, Gemini? I kind of got a similar message for this. Um, Whose reading did I do? And there was someone not trustable in their environment. And I, f I forgot what sign it was. Um, I don't remember at this time. But all right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. It could have been cancer. I really don't remember. I'd have to go back and look. Let's see. Let's see what's going on for you. Gemini, you can always go check out the cancer reading. If you have a cancer around you, it could be a coworker, a boss, it could be a family member, it could be anybody. All right, so let's see, let's clarify this energy. It could be somebody too wearing a mask that, sh you know, pretends you're, they're your friend. Uh, they're nice to you, to your face, but not behind, you know, behind your back, they're not, or they talk about you, or uh, they have ill intentions behind your back. So be cautious, <laughs> crab is about being cautious. All right, so it's way too many. Let's clarify this energy. Ten of Cups. So you're feeling content, though. This is happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. So some of you are happy and content in your home life. Okay, what else here for Gemini? And for signs, I'm only going to go by uh, probably the major arcana, court cards, kings and queens, so it's not so confusing. King of Swords. Well, there you are, Gemini, coming right out here. Gemini, that's you. I feel like your home life is good. And this is your energy right here. So I feel like you're happy and content in your home life. If some of you, you know, have family, you know, feeling happy and content there. And this Ten of Cups is water energy. So now we have the Hermit. So this is Virgo. So this is deeply thinking about something here. Something that uh, is making you think deeply about a situation. Okay, so what else here? What else here for Gemini? Let's take these two. So now we have the King of Cups. So this could be Pisces and the Princess of Cups. So this is the Page of Cups. So we do have Pisces, or it could be that Cancer, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um... So this is, you know, someone who's loving, caring, nurturing, giving. But we have the Princess of Cups here, Page of Cups. This is about, you know, loving communication or apologies. All right, what else here? What else is going on here for Gemini? Take this one. The Sun. So total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Success, victory, um healing, enlightenment, happy home and family again. I feel like you could be married to a water sign. I'm feeling like your home life is very stable. It's very good. It's very happy and joyous. But there's something 
here that is making you go into deep introspection. And I feel like it has something to do around your work environment since we have the B, which is about industry, cooperation, teamwork, collaboration, working together. Somebody wearing a false mask around you in your work environment that you need to be cautious about with the crab energy. But I feel like, you know, even though that's going on, you know, uh, whether you're aware of it or not, I feel like you're feeling like really good about life right now. You feel, you're feeling life is good. My work, my career is going great. You know, if you're still working or maybe you're working from home, that could be it too. You're working from home and you're feeling good. But there's still something here that I feel like, and you may not even know it, that you need to really see the light about something going on behind your back. Because this energy is turned away from all the other energy. So there's something either you're not seeing or something that will... Uh, be brought to the light to you about something in your work environment or your career or something and I feel like it's somebody here who has ill intentions towards you. Some of you could find out that your person or you could be expecting also because we do have uh, the page of cups with the fish can represent maybe having a child or a child and we have a child with the sun. So that's why if in Ten of Cups has children, so that's why I feel like some of you feel like your home life is good, you know, you may be expecting now, or you have a new addition to your family, but there's still something here with the hermit. Again, that could be that energy of, you know, we're all in retreat mode right now, we're quarantined, and you could be working from home, but there's something going on. Um, I feel like you're not seeing or behind your back in your work or career. Somebody wearing a false mask or somebody with ill intentions uh, here. And you may not see it, you know, with the crab energy there, you know, um, you may not see it. Yeah, oh my God, and the devil just flew out. I can't make this up. So this is Capricorn energy here. We have Leo energy over here. So this is something toxic going on behind your back and you don't even know it. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Or someone's going to tell you about somebody having ill intentions, shedding light on it, on this devil energy, toxic energy, somebody with not good intentions, I feel, I feel like you don't know it, <laughs> you don't see it, it's going on behind your back, and then I feel like, especially with the sun here, something will be illuminated to you, justice, Libra energy here, yeah, somebody's going to shed light, bring truth, clarity, and someone's ill intentions behind your back that you don't even know what's going on. Yeah, Queen of Swords, somebody shedding with truth and clarity. This is my divine source energy, my divine intervention, my divine clarity card. Queen of Swords, now Libra again, two Libra. Two Libra here. With the sword up to bring in the truth and clarity. Wow. So this could be, you know, the Queen of Swords energy it could be, you know, it could be a coworker, a boss. It could be somebody that just knows this person and knows how they truly are. This could be something with the law. Somehow you get wind of a situation or something about this person that involves the law. And that, you know, Virgo, you could start, you know, looking into this person and saying, gee, what is this about, you know? Wow. Okay, or for some of you... Um, some of you maybe had to take legal action against your work, your coworker, or something here because something wasn't right, something wasn't justified. Here it could have been, you know, legal consultation here with the Queen of Swords and, you know, the Queen of Swords, King of Swords up there too. But I see that as your energy because we have all this great energy here. But that Raven, I don't know, and the Bee is, you know, work environment, I feel. And something with the crab there you need to be uh, cautious about that you're not seeing. All right, so what else is the situation here? The alchemist and the princess of pentacles just came out. So we do have um, the magician here with the alchemist and with the devil over here. This is someone who could be a manipulator, someone who could be sneaky, trying to manifest something with ill intentions. They may come off here princess of pentacles page of pentacles is someone you know who appears to be sincere you know they're trustworthy again pentacles is that work career finance energy so i feel like they appear to be one way 
because we got opposing energies here. The Princess of Pentacles is somebody who's very secure, stable, grounded, who seems authentic. And then we got the Devil energy is someone here who's not authentic. And they're trying to take advantage or manifest something or do something sneaky behind your back, especially with the Devil card here. But two cards of Libra, Justice. So somehow this... Uh, it will be enlightened to you, I feel. So it's either going to be um, somebody tells you, hey, did you know about this person, about their background? Could be somebody new you work with that sheds light on this. Or you run into somebody that knows this person and somehow, you know, they have they get brought up in the situation, in the conversation. And you're like, well, did you know this person? Uh, this is their background. This is what happened. They were in trouble with the law or something like that. Or you're going to run across information online about this person and be like, wow, I didn't know that, you know, or something, or maybe they do something and you're like, it makes you think about it with the hermit energy. Like what, why did, you know, what, <laughs> what are they doing? I, you know, I never thought they would do this or, you know, that's not like them. And then you find out this energy of ill intentions, doing something sneaky. Uh, it's not being two faced here. So either some of you are either going to get the law involved or you find out something either through a background check or uh, just, you know, browsing online or something like that. Divine clarity here with justice and the queen of swords and the alchemist with the sword there also. Three cards here with that sword clearly standing there for uh, clarity. So something will definitely be brought to light to you. But feel like your home life is good for most Geminis, if that resonates for you. If you have a happy home and family, working from home, you're feeling like life is good, everything's going good, I'm still working, even though it's from home, my family's good, maybe, you know, expecting or having a new addition or trying for a new addition. But lo and behold, some dark energy arises here with that raven, making you cautious or you need to be cautious of. So let's see, um, and the Princess of Pentacles could be this news coming in from somebody who you see, who you deem very, very trustworthy in your life, shedding light on this information also. Because if you look at the alchemist here, you know, it was in deep thought here, you know. So, you know, and the alchemist usually is a good energy, but with the devil, no, it's not. Um... The alchemist here could be a uh, Gemini Virgo energy. All right, so let's get some advice and guidance for you. Advice or guidance for you. Now we got more uh, energy here with the Princess of Wands. More communication. A lot of communication here. A lot of information coming to light. A lot of things being found out. Princess of Wands, that's... Um, can be an offer coming in or good news or news coming in of some kind. All right. What else is your advice or guidance? So now we have the lovers here. So this could be actually good news coming in with your loved one. You know, I feel like some of you may be expecting or trying and news coming in about that. That, okay, we're expecting. So that could be the good news coming in with your person. Now we have the Prince of Swords. So something happened happening quickly here. Prince of Swords rushes in. This is the Knight of Swords. Rushes in quickly, causes havoc. If it's not something in your work environment, something could be causing a disruption in your home life. That Prince of Swords. But I'm getting more around work. I'm getting this vibe like your, your home life is just fantastic. And then all of a sudden, this swift, quick, fast news comes in about something or someone around you involving your career, your work, or something that disrupts your home life. Not in a negative way, but it's like you're just feeling really good. Then all of a sudden this comes in. It's like a shock. It's a surprise. And you're like, you know, why is this happening? Ace of Wands. So we got a fiery passion new beginning here. So creative new idea or a spark or something here. Let's clarify that. So I'm curious uh, why that's here. Nine of Cups. So that's happiness, joy, fulfillment, wish fulfillment. 
Again, I feel like, you know, the Ace of Wands is spark or something new, creative or exciting, wish fulfillment here. Again, I feel like some of the, you that are trying to expand your family or something with that energy with your family, um, something new here, which is very happy and wish fulfillment in your home life. But let's see why uh, this Prince of Swords is here. Judgment. So needing to make Scorpio energy here. So needing to make a final decision or judgment call about something. I feel like some sort of information that comes into you about someone. Um, so needing to make, you know, your own judgment call on whatever information is being brought to light to you, rushing into you. So now we have the Chariot and the Princess of Swords. So now we have all four night um, pages here. We got the cups, the pentacles, and the wands. So the Princess of Swords, again, and I had said, you may be doing online research, or somebody did about a person, and they rush in with the news, and now you need to make a judgment call. Here's the chariot energy. So that it is about fast travel and movement. Somebody may be getting in your car, in their car and driving to you to actually tell you this face to face very quickly. It may happen abruptly. And then you needing to either doing your own research or making a judgment call on this coming into you very quickly. But like I said, I think your home life is great for some of you here. But whatever this disruption or news comes in surrounding your work, career, somebody's ill intentions or somebody... Uh, I don't know. Okay. So let's get possible outcome here. Ten of Wands. So laying down a heavy burden. Two of Wands being at a crossroads. Yeah, you don't know what, may not know what to do about this situation. <laughs> yeah, indecisive and at a crossroads. What do I do about this now? Feeling like every, maybe, you know, you're a boss or a CEO or um, a manager or something like that. And now you have to make a final decision about this person. And all the weight is on your shoulders. Like, what do I do now? I'm at a crossroads. What do I do with the two of swords? So you may feel a little, um, yeah, somebody sneaky, indecisive, not trustworthy, uh, lies, deceit. And all that burden is on your shoulders. What do I do with this person now? Eight of Cups. Yep. So it's an energy of <laughs> maybe giving that person their walking papers here uh, with Eight of Cups energy. Some way, shape, or form. What else? The Hierophant. So you, this person could have, could have came off as somebody, a hard worker, very dedicated, uh, very committed to, you know, whatever they're doing, working or working for you or, you know, could be a um, business partner too. Maybe they seem very dedicated, committed, um, trustable. You know, you trusted this person with the Hierophant. What else? Some of you definitely could be married. What else here for Gemini? The Emperor. So some of you definitely could be a boss, a uh, business owner. Or this could involve your boss, a business owner, finding out uh, maybe they're doing something illegal and not, not by the book or, you know, something like that. Now we have the 10 of pentacles. So that's your happy home and family life, feeling secure, stable, grounded, making your pentacles, you know, everything in your home life is good aside from some sort of toxic, negative, bad energy around your work or career environment. That makes sense for you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So let's see what other signs do we have? Taurus, we have Aries, um, we have Cancer over here again. Now we have Sagittarius here with Temperance. So this is about having patience, uh, doing um, balancing work, tempering your energy, um, peace, harmony, balance, healing. So just being patient in this situation, trying to balance out the scales here, feeling a little confused, disillusioned about what to do about this. But King of Pentacles, again, you could be um, this Virgo energy. So again, you could be a boss, business owner, CEO, manager, something like that, or involving someone of that stature. But again, being stable. Six of Cups. So this could involve somebody you've known since childhood, someone from your past, 
or you've worked with or been with for a very long time. This is also a soulmate energy. So I feel like some of you definitely are very happily married to a soulmate. Very ha happy home and family life. The world. So needing to close out a cycle here and start a new cycle. So maybe, you know, maybe you could, maybe you trusted this person for a very long time, but now it's like, okay, now I need to make a decision here to let this cycle end, start a new cycle. So we have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio with the world, Five of Swords, someone try to one-up you, take advantage of you, control you, um, take advantage of you kind of energy. Not a good energy with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords that we had over here. Yeah, feeling like I just don't know what to do here in this situation. So, but I feel like some of you will will make a decision and do exactly what you feel like you need to do. Maybe tough, not sure how to do it. Maybe you trusted this person, knew this person very, very long time, and now you're in a situation where I just can't believe I didn't see this or uh, see this about this person this whole time. Okay, Gemini, let's see what's going on here. Let's get some closing messages for you, Gemini. I feel like they were sneaky all along and you've never seen it until somebody tells you or they find out or this person uh, slips up or somebody catches them doing something or something here. Wow. Okay, so let's get some closing messages for you, Gemini. Some closing messages for you, Gemini. So we have create and say thank you. So you have six and 40, 24, six, 44. So it's telling you don't stop creating whatever you're doing here. Don't stop creating. Thanking you for <laughs> this person, whoever it was shedding light on the situation to help you see the truth in the matter. Just don't forget to say thank you and don't stop creating. This is about healing, balance, and stability. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. What are the messages for Gemini? Rise and shine. 56, 11. 11 is about being on the right path. So keep going. Don't stop. You know, get up every morning. Keep doing what you're doing. Again, you know, kind of like quarantine home life here. So definitely some of you could be working from home. To rise and shine every day and keep creating, keep doing what you're doing. And we had turn on the light here, five, which is about challenge and change. Someone's turning on the light, shedding light. And I felt that with the Virgo energy here with the hermit, shedding a light on a situation for you that you didn't see. They may be saying, you know, I'm sorry, 2911, two unities and partnerships. So it could be somebody you're in a partnership with, work, career, finance, maybe. They could say, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Could be. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, but I think this person's been sneaky the whole time and you probably didn't see it. So be very cautious, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.